So I think this is recording. I haven't done a lot of recordings on directly onto the iPad, but I'm not down by my office rig. So we're talking here about even versus odd functions. So bottom line is <clears throat> the definition of an even function is if I have a function, uh, let's do it this way. If I have a function, and instead of f of x, I substitute negative f x in for the function, then I get the original function back. So if I use negative x as my input, it doesn't alter my function. It comes back as it started out. An example of that is if my function started out as, let's simply say, x squared. If I substitute in negative x for x, then that, of course, equals this 2 tells me to multiply this base twice. And so negative x times negative x is positive x squared. So in the end, f of x is equal to f of negative x, which is x squared, my original function. Okay, so it doesn't matter if this is negative x or x as my input, I get the same thing. That's an even function. So the definition of an odd function is if I substitute a negative x in to my function, I will get negative f of x. An example of an odd function is, is this, if I have f of x equals x cubed and I change the input to be negative x, then in place of x, I substitute negative x. And of course, this 3 tells me to multiply this base three times. And of course, negative x times negative x is positive x squared, as we saw in the last example. But I'm going to multiply it again a third time, 3. Uh, again by negative x, so a positive x squared times a negative x is negative x squared times x. There are three x's being multiplied, so I get negative x cubed. So remember, my original function was x cubed, but my regular function with an input of negative x spits out negative x cubed. Well, since x cubed is equal to f of x, that's the same as saying negative f of x. It's the negative, it's the negative of my previous function or the defined function f of x. That is an odd function. Now, when is, here's an example of when it's neither an odd function nor is it an even function. It's not an even function nor an odd function. So here's my example. f of x equals x squared plus 4. And it certainly could be x cubed plus 4. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, I can't do it that way. x cubed plus 4. Now, let's test. Is it even? So really I'm asking, is it an even function? So to test to see if it's an even function, I'm going to substitute negative x in. Test if it's an odd function, it's the same thing as well. So, um, yeah, so I guess I'm really saying, if is, it, is it even or is it odd or is it neither? Okay. So it's the outcome that tells me which one it is. I'm going to substitute the negative x in for x cubed. I'm going to put negative x in here. Now I'm going to execute this part, negative x, multiplied three times, because that's what x, negative x cubed is. And of course, we did this above and got negative x cubed. Nothing happens to the plus 4. Now, is this equal to f of x? Well, no, it isn't. Why? because this is negative x cubed plus 4, and my original function was x cubed plus 4. Now, is this the negative of my f of x? Well, negative f of x would be negative x cubed plus 4. That's my original function, x cubed plus 4. Well, let's compare these two. This negative must be distributed to both of those terms because it's outside its parentheses because it's negative of the whole f of x. So that means that would be equivalent to negative x cubed minus 4. Well, these two things are not equivalent. They're not equal. 
This is negative x cubed plus 4, and this is negative x cubed minus 4. So it is neither an even function or an odd function. This is neither an even function nor an odd function.